welcome back to part two. So I'm going to show you guys how I bleach, plug, and style my wig. I'm using VW2 powder along with my 40 volume developer. And I'm just going to mix that up until it's a thick consistency. Kind of like toothpaste because you don't want it too, too thick, but you don't want it runny because you do not want it to seep through your lace onto your hair. the bleach towards the back of my closure um, and I work my way forward make sure you're not pushing too hard into your um, lace because you do not want to get it through there you just want to make sure it's evenly distributed so once I'm done applying the bleach I let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes and I just keep checking on it just to see how far it's developed. So I rinsed out the bleach using my Shimmer Lights Toning Shampoo to get some of that brassiness out. I did not wash the whole wig, I just shampooed my knots. So now we're about to start plucking. I'm parting my hair down the middle, I'm taking my tweezers, and I'm plucking back. I'm not plucking directly on the hairline, I'm plucking a little bit behind that. Afterwards, I'm going to part off some of the front, and I'm going to keep plucking the next row. You just want to keep, make sure you keep combing out that hair just to see how far you come and what you need and don't need to pluck. You can already kind of see some of my progress right here. And I'll part off another row and start plucking behind again. And you want to just pluck a little at a time. You don't want to over plug in one area. You just want to make sure you keep moving back and forth. So once I've finished my three rows, I went over just to pluck some of the front hairs I thought were still too thick. This is what it should look like once you're done. Now I'm going in with my Fantasia heat protector spray and I'm going to hot comb and wand curl my closure. I'm using the hot comb to press out those roots to get them very, very flat. And after that, I'm going to use my wand curler. This is a flat square one. I got it because Eric and Tay used it on his live one time. And he said it's very good for getting like very bouncy curls on textured hair. And I feel like this works better than a, you know, the typical oval round shaped wand. And I just complete the process for each row of hair. So now I'm going to comb out the waves so it blends with the rest of the hair. And on to the next side, I just complete the same process, spray, hot comb, curl.
look at that body, look at that hairline. I didn't even have to pluck the part because I bleached my knot so well. And as you can see, the waves that I made with my wand curl blends really good with the natural pattern of this hair. And check out how well that HD lace is blending in with my mannequin head. Like, that's some serious stuff, y'all. Get into it. Thank you guys for tuning into this YouTube video. I hope it was informative. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!